I shall now make a statement in my capacity as the representative of India. The measures imposed by this Council under Article 41 of the UN Charter are provisional in nature and not permanent. Sanctions regimes cannot be an end in themselves. In their implementation, sanctions regimes must ensure that they have the intended impact and do not further exacerbate the suffering of populations at the receiving end. The legitimate trade and economic activities of the concerned state and its regional partners cannot be ignored either. As well, the unintended consequences of sanctions measures, including humanitarian consequences, increasingly emphasized by member states and other stakeholders, need an effective redressal. In this context, India engaged constructively in the negotiations on the resolution. This resolution provides a carve-out from sanctions in support of the timely delivery of humanitarian assistance or to support other activities meeting basic human needs. The resolution is also intended to ensure the much-needed predictability and safeguards to humanitarian agencies. However, India will call for caution and due diligence to be exercised while extending humanitarian assistance to proscribed entities under the 1267 regime who continue to thrive with full state hospitality in territories universally acknowledged as terrorist havens by the international community. Our concerns emanate from proven instances of terrorist groups taking full advantage of such humanitarian carve-outs and making a mockery of sanctions regimes, including that of the 1267 Sanctions Committee. There have also been several cases of terrorist groups in our neighborhood, including those listed by this council, reincarnating themselves as humanitarian organizations and civil society groups precisely to evade these sanctions. These terrorist organizations use the umbrella of the humanitarian assistance space to raise funds and recruit fighters. We reiterate, as we did during the negotiations, that under no circumstances the garb of humanitarian cover intended to be provided by these exemptions should be misused by proscribed terrorist groups to expand their terror activities in the region and beyond. More importantly, such exemptions must not facilitate mainstreaming of terror entities in the political space in our region. Due diligence and extreme caution in the implementation of this resolution, therefore, is an absolute must. For this very reason, India had sought in the text of the resolution a proactive role for the 1267 monitoring team, coupled with robust reporting standards and mechanisms. We regret that these specific concerns were not fully addressed in the final text adopted today. We hope that this shortcoming will be corrected in the future as and when we review the implementation and feedback from the monitoring team on this resolution. Thank you. I resume my function as President of the Council.